I am Shi Heng, an Alibaba cloud technology developer. Today we are going to talk about the network plugin Turway for container services. Alibaba Cloud Container Services are compatible with two network plugins, Flannel and Turway. Before you create a cluster, we recommend that you first learn about how to choose a network plugin. In this issue, we will mainly discuss some capabilities of Turway. Turway provides three major benefits. The first benefit is that Turway is developed based on cloud native technologies. In Turway, pod IP addresses are IP addresses in the cloud native virtual private cloud, VPC. The pod IP addresses can be seamlessly integrated with cloud services such as server load balancer, NAT gateway, and elastic IP address. The second benefit is that Turway can provide high network performance. In Turway mode, the communication between pods does not require encapsulating packets. The performance of Turway nearly reaches the network performance of Elastic Compute Service. In addition, Turway supports eBPF accelerated service networks and network policies. The third benefit is that Turway can provide enterprise level support. In Turway, you can define the security rules, throttling rules, and priorities of the network to deploy applications online or offline. Let's put Turway into practice. This way we can understand the differences between Turway and traditional network plugins. The first difference is if you select Turway as the network plugin, when you create a cluster, you must select a pod vSwitch. As opposed to other network plugins, you do not need to assign a virtual CIDR block for pods in the cluster. Pod IP addresses in Turway mode are assigned from the vSwitch of Alibaba Cloud. In Alibaba Cloud Container Services, pod IP addresses are assigned from VPC after you select Turway. Let's look at an existing cluster. You can see that when you create a pod in the cluster, the pod IP address and the node IP address are in the same network plane. This tells us that pod IP addresses are cloud native network addresses in Turway. Pod IP addresses are assigned from Alibaba Cloud VPC. The second difference is that you can associate a public IP address with a pod in Turway. You can associate a separate public IP address with each pod. You can access the IP address in scenarios such as games and conference calls. Let's go back to the Nginx stateless application. Click View in YAML in the stateless application. In the pod template, you can add an annotation to the public IP address. Use the k8s.aliyun.com forward slash pod hyphen with hyphen EIP. Annotation to declare that each pod in the stateless application has a public IP address. Click Update. You can see that the new pod is being created. Wait for the new pod to be created. Now the pod is created. Click Details. In the annotation, you can see that a public IP address is assigned to the pod. Enter the public IP address in the address bar. Then you can access the Nginx application that you deployed. Using Turway, you can assign a separate public IP address for each pod in the cluster. The third difference is that load balancers can directly communicate with backend pods in the Turway network mode. In Kubernetes, you can use a service of SLB type to expose your applications. The port of a service is mapped to a node port in the cluster. When a client outside the cluster accesses the service, the client accesses the node IP address and the node port. 
The access requests are forwarded to backend ports. This allows Kubernetes services to enable load balancing. In Turway, pods can be directly mounted to the back end of a load balancer. Let's verify this capability of Turway. In the container service for Kubernetes, ACK console, choose Network Services. Click Create in the upper right corner of the page, then select Server Load Balancer from the Type drop-down list. Select the Nginx stateless application that you created from the backend drop-down list to associate the application with SLB. Select a container port and then click Create. Then wait for this external endpoint to be assigned. Now the external endpoint is successfully assigned. Click this external endpoint. You can successfully access the Nginx application that you deployed. Then go to the SLB console to check whether the public IP address of the pod is mounted to the back end of the SLB. In the SLB console, click Refresh. Now you can see that the address of the SLB instance that you created. Click the address. The pod IP address is directly mounted to the vServer group, which is the backend server group of the SLB. Node port is not used in the mounting process. Thank <laughs> you.